fish on your line Your day's just begun The world of American angler On lakes and on streams Now you're living the good life Catch the one of your dreams Pat Trainer, welcome to the American Angler. Today we're coming to you from the ice-covered Flaming Gorge Lake in Wyoming. We're going to be after some big lake trout today. Hopefully the fish will cooperate. We've got some beautiful weather. The ice is starting to go off the lake. We're here a little bit late, but there's still some good fish being caught. This lake is notorious for its huge lake trout. Up here they call them Mackinac. But the lake record exceeds 52 pounds. This is my first experience of lake trout through the ice. So who knows? Just grab something warm, turn up your thermostat, and stay with us. We'll be right back through the ice on the Flaming Gorge. Hey, guys. Well, it's about time you got here. Don, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. How's fishing? Oh, it's good. Catching's terrible. Catching's terrible? <laughs> how long y'all been out? What you couldn't have beat us out here by much. Oh, probably about 15 minutes. Is that right? Yeah. It's cold enough for you? Oh, it just feels great out here. It really does. I'm looking forward to this. I've never before fished for these kind of fish in these conditions. Never. Well, you ought to have a lot of fun today. Have we already got some holes drilled? All over. We're going to have to drill a few. And yeah, just be careful where you step. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, your season starts about when? Basically about the uh, 1st of January is when we start getting on anywhere from the 1st uh, till the first week of January. We start getting on the lake for ice fishing. The ice is uh, it's a little thin at that time, but it's, it's, uh, it's well worth being out here. That's when, that's when the hot time is. When it first gets when to where first, you can get on it. When it first gets ice on is when the, uh, the fish are really active. And it seems to work the same way. Uh, with ice off. As soon as ice is off, we get out here in the boats and we, uh, we have some pretty good action for about two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, from then on, uh, like after the first three weeks of January, it tapers down. It just gets mm -hmm. progressively a little slower each time. How many days during the winter months will you get out here and get a chance to do it? Well, uh, for most people to work, uh, most people are weekend fishermen. You know, they get out at least one, uh, one day out of the weekend. This year we've been uh, pretty fortunate. I uh, haven't been doing any work this, this winter, I've just been fishing. So I've been out here like two and three times a week. So it's been great for us. <laughs> Have you had a good season this year yeah, as far as right. we've had numbers a, of fish? We've had a real good season. This area has produced, uh, well, I, I was able to catch a 40 pounder, 40 pounder out of here. Uh, a lot of 35s, 38s. I haven't seen them, but I've heard that there's been three 40 pounders caught out of this area this winter, so uh -huh. it's been real, real productive. Well, I've heard that you've got some yeah. super lake trout fishing up here. Right, the record on this lake is 51 and a half pounds now. Ooh, that's so a good one. That's, that's a real nice fish. Uh, the lake trout on this lake don't get as long as uh, some of the lake trout in your northern lakes. Uh, what we get is we get a, a football looking type Mackinac, yeah. real fat. Well, now basically, you, you've got what fish? You got the lake trout in here. 
You got the Mackinac? Well, Lake Trout and Mackinac are the same fish. Are they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, But that's it's, it's dominantly fishing, what you're fishing for. Right, that's what we're fishing for. Now you also have, uh, you have rainbow. You have about three different strains of rainbow in this lake. Uh, we have kokanee in this lake. We have smallmouth bass in this lake. Mm -hmm. We have brown trout. And there's a few largemouth bass, from my understand. So we have a we have a pretty good uh, pretty good fishery here. Well, is this type of fishing that you're doing? I know with the bass fishing that I've done in the winter months, when the water is at its coldest, normally you're only going to get maybe one or two hours out of the day that are going to be highly productive. And then the rest of the day, you really got to work for them. You right. might get a fish now and then, but right. you'll get that definite feeding mm -hmm. period, for, and it may only last an hour, may last 30 minutes. Right, yeah, we found fishing for the lake trout, which that's basically all we do in the winter is fish for lake trout. Uh -huh. We don't go to the shorelines and fish for rainbows. Um, we found that uh, early morning bite is, is usually the best time to be out here. So you're calling early morning from, from about when to when? Well, basically from sun up. Time the uh, sun up hits on the lake uh, until uh -huh. 9 30, 10 which works out pretty well. And then it slows down, and, and then some days you'll get an afternoon, uh, afternoon bite. And it's, uh, there's, we haven't really been able to establish a pattern other than the early morning. How long will you work on a hole before you just give up on it? And well, if I'm seeing fish in it, I'll stay in the, I'll stay in the hole all day. Because uh -huh. I don't feel that there's any sense in, in moving as long as there's fish coming through. Right. I feel if they're not biting here, they're not biting anywhere else either. Uh -huh. And it's, it's, it's you know, you can get 25 fishermen spread out, and sooner or later somebody's going to catch one out of a hole. There's no doubt about it. You know, one fish is going to make a mistake. And when the lake gets busy and the fish are really biting um, in an area that we're in, similar to this, how many fishermen will you see out on the lake that'll be doing this? Oh, probably I would say in January when it was uh, real productive, I would say you'd uh, in this area here you could find 150 fishermen in this area is here. That right? Yeah, spread out. And then they, they you know, fish all the way north, and then they uh -huh. fish south. So there's, uh, there's ice fishermen from Linwood Bay, which you know I think is in the southern part down below right. the pipeline. Uh, there's, there's fishermen from there all the way up to Firehole, which is basically the beginning of the lake. Uh -huh. Well, with these fish uh -huh. now in the area, and I know you spend a lot of days out here, are we key in on a piece of particular structure? Right, we're, we're structure fishing. You know fishing. what's down under the sides right, right yeah. here, huh? Uh -huh. We, we learn this by boat fishing and maps, contour maps uh, they've got out. We fish for structure, that's what we're looking for. Right, what are we sitting on right here? We're in 67 feet of water, and it's, it's basically an island like that's it's exposed over there. It comes up, uh, and the lake channel goes around. Uh, if we go this way, we're running to 110 feet of water. Uh -huh. That's the river channel, it'll drop right in. So we're kind of so, up on the yeah. flat part yeah. of it a little we're ways, on the flat but part. pretty close to the river channel itself. Right, uh, we want to stay on the sides uh, where the structure is. Mm -hmm. Those fish come up out of that channel and maybe move in here to feed a right. little bit? They come in to feed. Great. And uh, I think they're probably basically, basically they feed on uh, probably kokanee and chubs. It's probably what the, the Mackinac feed on most of uh -huh. all. And kokanee is really, they've gotten to be a dominant uh, fish in this lake, so I'm sure that's probably their basic food supply. Well, I've just got one question you got to answer for me. If we get a 50 pounder on, how are we going to get him through that little hole? We'll get him through. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a <laughs> chainsaw out and make that hole bigger? <laughs> if we have to fillet him in the hole. <laughs> how, much, how much importance do you put in the electronics versus just coming out here blind and drilling holes? Well, Pat, uh, we've, uh, I think the electronics really help. Uh, number one is it, uh, it helps you find the structure that you want to be in, the depth. Depths are important for Mackinac fishing. Uh, you don't find a lot of people uh, fishing in 140 feet of water for Mackinac. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not saying that you couldn't catch one there, but uh, your, your biggest percentage of them is going to be in a oh, 70 foot range to, to 90, somewhere in there. So uh, in essence, uh, the electronics, the depth finder will help you find the depth you want to be in, plus it'll let you know if there's fish there. Uh, if you, you sit, punch a hole out, and you sit there for two hours and, and nothing comes through and it's time to move. You know, there's mm -hmm. no fish there. Mm -hmm. So, in, in that sense, if you weren't using electronics, you could sit there for, for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a fish may never come by. <laughs> well, you're going to be pretty sure if, if you sit here for an hour or two and you haven't, you're not getting any fish on that screen, then you, you know to move. Right, yeah. It's, it's time to start moving. Right. Right. Well, I'm going to move. I'm going to go over and get this spoon wet. Okay, Pat. I'm going to catch yeah. one. Catch a big Good one. Good to talk that, to take, you. Catch a big one out of that hole right. right over there. Okay.
I got a fish. I got a fish on. Hey, Pat, come here. I have one on. Got a fish on. Got... Hey, Gilbert. All right. I got to see this puppy. Oh, he's got you bowed up pretty good. Feels like a pretty fair fish. He really thump it? He thumped it pretty good. Well, he's making some runs on you, too. Stay with him. Oh, he's getting on right now. Look at the line go off that reel. Yeah, he's a good fish. This might take us a while. Yeah, he will. If he's... Well, he is all over the screen on this thing. This makes your day when you could come out here and do this. And when you, after you've got a fish on out of a hole like this, as a rule, can you go right back in there and catch another one? Does this commotion generally bring them around? Or? It will bring them around. Uh, whether you can get down there or not, that's a good question. <laughs> I know sometimes when a fish is thrashing around and fighting like that, it'll spook the other fish away, and there's other times it'll bring them right in to bite. We've seen it do both. You know, sometimes they'll come in, and there's other times they. There he is, right there. There he is. He's uh. There he is. Oh, oh. What do you guess him at? Oh, uh, guess him. Twelve pounds. About twelve, fourteen. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna get to land this fish? I'll grab him. Ken. What you all want to do is you don't want to stick your hand in the mouth of a mackerel. Uh huh. Full of teeth. Yes. Full of teeth. What, are you going to kind of cradle him up out of there? Yeah, we'll get him in there. Let's get him, get him up here. There he is wait, again. Wait for him to open his mouth. Got him, got him. Oh, he's going to be ornery. Got him hooked in the side. That's a pretty fish, though. Mm -hmm, they are pretty they fish. He's going to be in the slot when I get a hunch. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah. He's not done yet. Oh, this is an exciting way to start off our morning. Uh huh. Well, that didn't take no time no, to get him. Can only go right there. Look at here. Look at here. All right. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to hold this fish up. Oh. Now they got a slot limit on this lake, right? Mm. And that fish is yeah. in the slot, right? Fish. What is it? Fish the? would 26 to 36 inches. 26 to 36, you got to release it. Of course, we're going to release them all anyway, but for somebody that wanted to keep him, he couldn't do that. That's that a nice is a little pretty lake trout. Fish. Pretty fish. He's under the slot limit. He'd be under so the slot. 24 inches what he is. So you could keep that could fish. Keep that could keep that fish. 24 incher. Well, we'll put him back and let him grow up. Let him do it again another day. Oh, now, Ken, look at here. He's cheating on us. I want you to look <laughs> at the bottom of this bait, what he's doing to us here. We got a tube bait tied onto the bottom. Is this a secret? Secret weapon here. That's you a got? secret weapon there. Here you go, Gilbert. All right. You did a good job. Thank you. Get you another one. I'm going to go over at this hole and get me one. Yeah, that got my blood pumping. Hey, more fun is coming up, so you stay tuned. Get off. <laughs> I mean, if you'll show me this thing, I'll gladly. There's, there's your bubble. She's on the bladder. There he is right there. What do you mean just a baby? A, just a baby. What do you mean a baby? Look at this. Don't look like a baby to me. Well, that's just a pup. 
Okay. What's this I see sticking out of his mouth back? And that's what they call a gizzard. That looks like a tube bait to me. Now that's not a bad little fish. That is a nice fish. And that'll be under about 26 inches. What'd you All go, right. six, seven pounds? We gotta put her back. Pretty awesome. good. I think we can get it out. If you want to take and just cut the line and put the fish back in so we don't hurt it, that's fine. It ain't in her gills, I believe it's in the roof of her mount. Uh, no. Boy, he took it down good. Yeah, see, but it's right there in the roof of her mount. Yeah, wait a second. Nope. Don't let her get your finger now, or you're going to be sorry. Got that right. Look at those teeth. They got a mouthful of them puppies. Oh. Are well, they not pretty fish, though? They wow. put up a fight, don't they? Look at that fish. Built for power. <laughs> Look at the tail spread on that fish. Yeah, pretty fish. That is nice. Have you been jigging that tube bait all along? Yeah. I got a whole bunch of them back there. Something you've done well with? Yeah. All through the summer. Matter of fact, that you know particular what? color is my favorite that color. That dadgum tube bait, I think you can take it anywhere, fish for anything, and catch them. There you go. back go back with it not only that it's one of my favorite colors you That's got tied on go back Here, I'll let you see which way it's going. Okay. Oh, come on sweetheart don't let that little old fish whip both of you down. there we go there you Put go that sweetheart back didn't hurt her a bit oh there she goes oh she she went out of here like she shot out of a cannon now what we want to do fish. is catch, catch its daddy. Congratulations. Catch Even though I lost daddy. the bet. <laughs> well, that's, I'll enjoy that bet this evening over dinner. Oh, I'll bet. I'll bet. <laughs> I'll bet. Now go catch a fish. I'm going to try that. There's a bite. Fish on. All right, Pat. You got a good one Good now. fish. Good fish. Great, great. Oh, that's a big Good. fish, big fish. Great, make sure your rag's not too tight on there, Pat. I gotta get this other glove off, can't handle it. Go in there. Just took that different, that different bait, new presentation. Yep. Yeah, change the bait and put an airplane jig on. Looks like a really nice fish. I think that's 38 inches. Well, smile. <laughs> well, you this is serious business. Yeah, it is real serious business. I'm trying to keep him off that. I can see all that ice down under there. There's some air. I set him up pretty close, huh? Yeah, he was. I could feel a line going across the bottom of that ice then. It's going to be a while. Yeah, you make another run on you, it looks like. There he is right there. I got to look at him then. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's a oh, good that's fish. Nice, nice fish. Yeah. Yeah, nice. He's not uh, There's a swivel. Get him. Don't put the swivel in the guides. He don't want to go by. He'll really go by. Just let him wear himself out a little bit. Come here, big boy. Oh, yeah, we're going to snag him in the tail. He's foul hooked. Foul hooked in the tail. Foul hooked in the tail. But it's a big fish. Now we're going to get him out. Man, that's a good looking yeah. fish. We're going to bring him out tail first and yeah. we'll wear him down. Him Let him wear it a little bit. There you go. Come on back up here, big boy. There he is. All right. Got him foul hooked right here behind the tail. Oh, he's out. He's got a tape measure there, Gilbert. Don't go back in the hole, big boy, yet.
Got pretty color in him. You got him tape measure? He might be legal. No, he's in the slot limit. 28 and a half. 28 and a half. Right in. <laughs> 28 and a half, and he's got to go back. I'd say it's over 10 pounds. Feels like he's about eight or nine. All right. Nice fish, cat. There he goes. Some action. I about got him. I about got him. Oh, he's slick. Hey, nice fish. We'll look forward to seeing you next week on the next episode of the American Angler.